All right, so in this video, we are going to be covered that uh, how can we implement the API integration in React application, right? So uh, in my video of use effect, I already told you that uh, whenever you want to perform the any kind of side effect inside your React application, then you can use the use effect and that side effect can be a dating, you know, fetching the data from an API. So uh, I do have an API URL over here, right? And what it will do, it will return me the details of the you know rockets inside the spacex right so first we need to whenever we want to perform that data fetching inside the react then first we need to use the you know use effect let me just import use use effect and then let me just call this and because we don't want to call the api again and again so that this is why we will pass an empty array over here right and right over here what i will do i will you know call a fetch method of a browser web API in uh, in my JavaScript series I have, I have already told you that uh, uh, we if we want to you know implement the API integration inside the JavaScript then we can use the fetch method of a browser API right in but in the react we do have another library which is called Axios but in this video we will be covering about fetch method that how can we implement the api integration using the fetch method we will cover the axios in a, in the separate video right so don't worry about it so uh, we already we already know that uh, basically fetch is a promise function right so let's call fetch and inside the first argument we can pass the api url and in the first then we receive the response in a json for format that's uh, json and when we want to convert the you know JSON to an object, then we can do it something like this response. And then after that, what I will do, I will write console.log response. So let me just come over here inside the console. Let's refresh it. Then you can see then that I am getting this result from our API URL. So let me show you the response. Like I'm getting all the details about the rockets. Um, obviously we are getting four objects in this array, right? So what I need to do is I need to take the rocket name, I need to take the company and I need to take the description. Uh, and, and I want to render this information inside our, you know, uh, our component, which is a home component, right? So for that, what I will do I will come over here and first I will create a sort of card h2 p right and then what I will do basically I will create a use state when we will fetch the data when we will receive the data then we will update our state uh, from the data we are receiving from an API right so let me show you use state data and this is going to be an empty array for it for initial is uh, you know phase and then inside the response what we will do we will do something like this that data and then response right so and inside over here what i will do i will say if data dot map like rocket or rocket and the second parameter is an index it will return an uh, index of an array right all right in the h2 we will take the rocket dot rocket underscore name and the second in the first p tag we will take the company dot company and in the second p tag we will take description rocket dot you know description i guess so let me just save it and let me come over here then you can see that i am get getting all the you know details of the rocket i'm getting the rocket name the company and the you know description which we are receiving from an api right so let me refresh it and what we will do we will slow down our internet but inside the safari we don't we do not have an option right so uh, if you want to show when the 
you know data is in progress whenever when you make an api call and that api call is in progress so you want to show a lo loader right so for that you can do something like this you state loader the initial when the user will visit your page then you need to show the loader right and after the api call has done and you receive the response from an api call then you need to disable the loader right so this is why we are setting it as true all right so i will come over here and i will say loader if it is loader right then i will say loading otherwise let me come over here and pass this or I can do something like this as well right we don't need to pass the fragment because we are already wrapping it wrapping it up inside the parent if right so we don't have to pass the fragment over here and we are already you know we have already learned this thing inside the list and keys video of the series that whenever we are you know rendering the list then we need to pass the key props so inside the parent if what i will do i will pass index inside the key props so yes it is showing it is keep showing me load you know loading because we haven't set the loader to false inside our api response right so let me come over here after setting the data what i need to do i need to set the loader to false then you can then you can see for the initial phase it is showing me loading which is very fast at the moment right so at the moment i cannot be able to you know slow it down because i cannot use chrome over here inside the mac inside this macbook for some reasons uh so uh this is why first it shows me loading and when the loading is completed then it is showing me the data inside our screen well obviously we have not implemented sort of a styling in our in the in this component because we are not covering the styling phase we are totally covering the react part right so in case something went wrong during the api call and you want to show some like some screen like something went wrong then for that you can do something like this like uh, you state error and by default the error screen should be false because um, when anything went wrong then you need to enable that screen right so inside the catch what i will do i will write set error to true that is it right or if you are receiving the data from an api and you are receiving the data in a form of like uh, let me show you you know status is true and then you are receiving body and inside this body you are receiving the you know array of object whatever it is coming from an api but in case they in case you have successfully received that response from an api but in the api response you receive false and something went wrong during the api call and inside the body it is nothing and it is showing you something message like uh, internal server error, error right so for that you can wrap it up inside over here if response dot status then render everything else set error true right but in our case we are sure that api will completely uh, api is completely working f fine then for that we will not do this if else condition so let me just remove it all right so what i did basically in the cache block i have you know set the error to true so let's just come over here inside above the return we can do for you know showing the error screen we can do something like this if error then return we can return our jsx from there as well if we want right h1 something went 
wrong right so uh, let's come over here inside the den and throw uh, or let me just remove this you know dot den dot catch let's just use the async await because that is a cleaner way to handle the promises right so let me just come over here and I will write try catch and inside this I will const response equal to fetch and we can take our URL right and then obviously we receive the JSON from the you know fetch so we will do something like this const data equal to await the first one is going to be await as well because we are you know making a promise call await response dot JSON and now what I will do I will do the same thing let me copy it and let me just paste it over here all right so this should be API data because we do have already a data variable with the name of a data so let's just remove this and remove this as well and let's just let's just copy this as well and let's just paste it inside the catch block let me just remove it right so basically uh, whenever you are running a async await uh, I have you know write the await but when you are running a uh, async await inside a use effect then no need to there is no need to do something like this uh, directly inside the first callback of a use effect uh, well this is not a good practice for that what react told us it told us to if you want then you can you know uh, create a method like fetch api and inside this do whatever you want async this is going to be function right and then call this function fetch api so let me just come over here then you can see that it is working perfectly fine but if we want to explicitly throw the error then we can do something like this like throw new error internal server error Then you can see that we are getting something went wrong because in the try block we have explicitly uh, broke the API call. So in case if something went wrong, uh, whenever you are making a call and something went wrong inside the try try block, then it will automatically be catch inside the catch block. So <coughs> this is how the API integration works uh, inside a React application. So uh, in case if you do have any questions, then do let me know in the comment section. I will try to answer all of them. So I will see you in the next one with a video of Axios. In this video, we have learned that how to perform the you know API calls using Fetch. In the next video, we will learn that how can we perform the you know API integration using the Axios. So have a nice day.